Hello my little rose petals and my little rose thorns. Welcome back to the channel as we begin a brand new series called Zoo Tycoon 2. Now before we dive right into the gameplay, I want to discuss a couple things before we get started. Now, Planet Zoo was announced to be released in November. If you guys don't know what Planet Zoo is, I would go look it up. It's all over Twitter and they have their own YouTube page, which I will link down below. It has the trailer as well. It, it looks fantastic. And for those of you who grew up with Zoo Tycoon, you know, you know how hyped the community and you yourself probably are. Zoo Tycoon was a big part of my own childhood. I played it since the very first one and Zoo Tycoon became very near and dear to my heart. I loved the exhibits and the animals. As someone who wants to kind of delve into the zoology world and is taking classes in it, I am super excited to be playing this game once again for you guys as well. So Planet Zoo coming out in November. We finally have a release date. I am very excited. So I figured what better way to kind of celebrate my excitement than to put Zoo Tycoon up on the channel. So we are going to be playing the campaigns of Zoo Tycoon 2 where I will be the head zookeeper and you will be my assistant. So I'm really excited to get into, with the, into this with you guys and I am super excited to see where this journey takes us. Now let's get started. All right, assistant, here we are as we begin taking over a brand new zoo. Now, I want to go ahead and start by saying, which I probably should have mentioned this before, I do have a lot of custom content in this game and a lot of mods. I did take out a couple mods that probably would have made campaigns a little easier. So just so you know, I do have a lot of custom content and mods in this game. I'll make that a little disclaimer. I probably should have mentioned that before. Anyway. So here we are. You have been given a great opportunity to take over a small local zoo. Before completely entrusting the animals into your care, however, the current owner wants to be sure that you understand that animals have individual biome needs. He has provided you with three animals that need to be placed in their appropriate biome exhibit area. Each animal can be found in a crate near the front entrance of your zoo. When you select the crate, the information panel indicates what kind of animal is inside. You can pick up the crate and move it like any other object. To release an animal from its crate, click the Uncrate Animal button that is on the animal's information panel. Once an animal is released, you'll be able to use the information tabs to access additional information about the animal. You will need to move and release each crated animal into its appropriate exhibit. To verify that you can handle the basics, you've also been tasked to run the zoo for one month and ensure that the animals survive. Tip! In the interest of keeping your animals alive, you'll want to provide them with food and water. So, we have to release each animal from, it, from its crate and place it in the appropriate biome exhibit area. And then we need to run the zoo for a month. And we have $30,000. So. Let's get started. So I always like to pause the game first. Um, I feel like I'm starting this as a walkthrough. That's not what we're doing here, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a walkthrough. You're my assistant. <laughs> and this is what we're doing. Um, so I'm already noticing a little problem. <laughs> um, so I have, I forgot to take out the, um, I'm already noticing the issue of the, um, the fencing. <laughs> because um, this is connected to the zoo wall and I have it so that way the zoo walls don't uh, show up in the game. So we're gonna fix that in just a second. So um, let's click here. So we have the lion, um, which is a male. And if we click this, we have our little Zoopedia, which is very interesting. They're from Africa, they like the savanna. So, all right, in turn, let's get our baby to the savanna right over here, beautiful. And then our polar bear um, is from the Arctic and it likes the tundra and it is a lower risk of conservation status. Um, this game is a little out of date considering it was released I believe in 2007, don't quote me on that. It was released in the early 2000s. So the information on the Zoopedias are pretty out of date. 
um i would love for someone to come along and make a mod 2003 oh my god i would love for someone to come along and make a mod that updates all the zoopedia information because a lot of it is super out of date because i'm pretty sure polar bears are now endangered um because of the global warming and then we have a hippopotamus which is vulnerable they love central africa and they love the wetlands so let's go ahead and go up here um wetlands beautiful okay so now let's uncreate everyone but before we do that i'm going to find a nice little fence for our friend here um let's do the chain link fence i think that would be pretty appropriate and um i will remember the next time to take out um that mod i will remember to do that so that way this does not happen again okay let's go ahead and pause all right so let's go ahead and start by opening the puppies up all right now so let's open everybody actually before we do that let's actually just go ahead and get them some food started so um since we are on our little bit of a budget, I think the best thing to do would be find the cheapest option. And the cheapest option looks like 150. Let's give them some fish. <clears throat> and then I don't need to give them a water dish because we have a watering hole. So that's perfect. And then we'll research this little ball because I'm pretty sure everybody can use that ball in the park. And we will uncreate you. <laughs> perfect. Needs more space. Oh, seriously? Or do you? Or is that a lie? That's a lie. Okay. I was a little nervous. I was like, really? Already? Okay. Um, now shelter. You definitely need shelter. So let's go ahead and put it in this little crevice. Perfect. Okay. Now let's move on to the lion. Now the lion, I believe, likes the same ball, but I also want to get the scratching post for them. Just need something to scratch their claws on. You know what I mean. Okay. So we have meat and we have a pig carcass, which is also 150. I feel like a lion would appreciate a pig carcass more than just meat. So let's do that. And then I don't see a water source in here. So you know what I'm going to go ahead and do? I'm going to go ahead and make one. Um, let's just kind of make it a little bit over here. That way they have a nice water source and we don't have to worry um, about giving them a water dish. It just saves money in the long run. All right, so 200 here. Um, hmm. I kind of am going, I'm gonna give them the shade structure for now, a lot of animals like that. Um, but in the meat, once we get like a, a real den, I think they're gonna like that a lot more. So let's go ahead and do this. And then bam, our lion is complete. Now let's go over here to the hippopotamus. Now the hippopotamus, I believe, likes the scratching post as well because it likes to scratch its back on it, which I think is really cool. And the hippopotamus is obviously an herbivore, so we're gonna get um, the hippo some grass. I think I'm gonna kind of mesh it with this grass just to kind of make it look um, like it belongs. And then, ooh, we have like a, a straw-ish bed thing. I think that would work best, maybe. I mean, yeah. We'll do that. We'll do like a little straw bed, because they really like to spend most of their time in the water, so I can't really see them using an actual shelter. Um, they spend most of their day in the water. Excellent! Your animals feel right at home in their new exhibits. Perfect. Okay, so we have to run the zoo for a month. Um, this is how we can see how everyone's doing. This is great. So we need to run the zoo. And where is, here it is. All right. Make sure they have all three animals. Okay. So we're going to do that. We're going to make sure that no one is unhappy. And the zoo is closed. Let's go ahead and open it. Let's start making some money, guys. All right. So first thing is first, let's... Um, I don't need any more animals. Let's start setting up the zoo. This is like my one of my favorite parts besides um, designing the exhibits. So, uh, hmm. 
we don't have a lot of room to really build but we definitely have some things to go on so i think i'm gonna demolish some of these trees and make a little bit of a food court um oh gosh i thought i had the bulldozer selected okay so let's go ahead and do this get a lot of the trees i typically like to come into the campaigns and get rid of all the trees um anyway just because it saves more money in the wrong one. Okay, landscaping is a big, big must. Okay, now let's take some of this. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. I thought it was a little... There we go. Let's flatten that out, and then we'll start a path. Um, let's probably... Um, we probably want this... Oh, the lion is roaring! That is perfect! I love that. That sound was amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Uh. Trying to find the path that this one is. But it's not actually showing it to me. I wonder if it's because it's actually not available yet. Um, which would make sense. So we're just going to get the path that, um, is... Sorry guys, give me one second. Sorry guys, I had a dog knock my <laughs> I had a dog knock my cable out of place um, from my desk. Okay, so I'm liking this stone path. And maybe it would be like kind of nice to make it a little different. It's not too bad. Okie dokie. So let's start there. I always like to start small. And let's see what we have. So, um, we have some restrooms. So we're going to put some restrooms down, absolutely. And some carts. Okay. Do we have... Oh, yes, we do have stands. Beautiful. Okay, so we have a drink stand. Um, we have a dessert stand. Everything's kind of jungly themed. And we have a snack stand. Okay. So let's go ahead and put down our snack stand. Let's put down a drink stand. And then I always like to put down a little dessert cart, just so everyone has something. Um, let's start with the pretzel cart. That is probably the best bet. All right, now everyone's gonna need some seating. Hmm. Here we go. And let's do little picnic benches. Picnic benches are always the best bet. One there and one there. And uh, what else are we missing? Oh yeah, trash cans. We need trash cans. Let's put some trash cans down. Perfect. So we got a little, <laughs> a little, a little shabby food court, but not too too bad. Um, and then there's some benches. But let's go ahead and put some benches um, in front of the exhibits. Because that is what everyone's here for, right? Oh, gosh. I'm really bad about the delete tool. If you guys didn't notice. So which one's cheaper? Oh, wow. Let's use the modern bench. That's a little cheaper. So let's put that there. And one right there. And then for the hippo, we'll put one here. And then right there. Everyone's loving the polar bear. And I kind of have to agree. The polar bear is probably my favorite out of them. Um, and then, oh yes, we need to put down donation boxes. I see the guy kind of complaining about that. Uh, let's, where would I find that? Here we go. It's been a while since I played, guys, so please bear with me. I have not played this game in so long. All right, we got some donation boxes. We are doing good. Okay, so let's kind of put that right there as well. Beautiful, okay. So let's kind of go around and see how the zoo is doing, assistant. Let's do this. Oh gosh. Um, okay, we gotta go. We gotta go out this way. Don't we? How do I? How do I? How do I? How do I? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Things are happening. I gotta fix that. Okay. Oh, so we're in the city. I didn't even realize the type of zoo we're in. We're in the city. The tundra looks so barren, but of course that's how the tundra is. All right, let's see if we need to pick up any scat because that is important because we do not have zookeepers yet. 
I kind of like to try to be the zookeeper as much as I can. I don't want to go swimming in that because that is frigid. We would probably die. Alright, this is so exciting! So, little, um, new, new little objects available for purchase. Why? Oh, did we, did we gain a star but then also lose a star? That happens a lot. That happens quite a bit. Um, so, let's go here. I love how you can replenish the pig carcass. I'm gonna think of it as we just gave them a new pig carcass completely, because that's a little silly. All right. Any more scat? Here we go. Scat is very important because we can recycle that. Um, l later on for compost. All right, let's go here. Oh, goodness. This is a little odd. It looks like the hippo's gonna go running out into the world. I need to fix that. I promise in the next episode, guys, I will, um, I will remove that mod. I didn't actually realize that that would happen. Oh my gosh, can you imagine, like, a hippo rampaging through, like, New York City or something? That's what I envision the city is. Um, let's do... Some of these fences, I feel like a hippo could just burst right through. Let's um, do just like a basic uh, chain link fence, I think. Or maybe chain link is, a, I don't think they can do chain link. Let's just do um, a stone fence. I think that would kind of be good considering it is a hippo. I think, I think that would be a good idea. Okay, let's put this fence down and um yeah we'll uh we'll have to cut through the exhibit just a tad but i don't think the hippo is gonna mind too too much i mean he might we are kind of cutting off a big chunk I'm not going to lie about it but this is a pretty okay that's a little that's looks awful but it's okay <laughs> we can fix it at another time. That's a pretty big wall. But, I mean, it makes more sense. You're a very pretty hippo. You are very, very pretty. In real life, you would not want to go up to a hippo that close because hippos are super strong. Their jaws can crush a whole watermelon like it is a Ritz cracker. So you never would want to go up to something like that. Okay, interesting. Oh, what are you angry about, little sir? Oh, you're thirsty. Well, here, let me direct you. Let me direct you to the drink area. Have a good time. All right, so we have, oh, it is January 27th. We only have a couple more days until the end of the month. I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, this is so awesome. This first campaign is usually pretty easy, but I think it might be a little too easy. Are you going to go for a swim? I would love if the polar bear went for a swim. I love when they jump in. Mm. Very cute. Very, very cute. All right. So everyone is enjoying themselves. We're making pretty good money, too, especially with those donation boxes. Let's see. Oh, I missed it! Oh, I heard the splash and I missed it! I should have just waited a minute more. Okay, let's actually see finance-wise. So animal upkeep, we're about 2000 a month. Construction this month has been about 8000 but that's just because of the fencing, so not too terrible. Um, admissions income is 820 right now, and that's probably going to fluctuate definitely month by month. We had a $30,000 cash grant to start and we already have $815 in donations. That is awesome. And then recycling of the scat is $1,400. So um, yeah, definitely the scat collecting has been helping. So that is very important to note. And let's see, I wonder, is there 31 days in January or only 30? We're about to find out because I think a day passes every minute yeah it's got to be every minute okay 
So let's see, let's spruce this zoo up because we don't want to leave um, anything behind for another zookeeper to take care of when we are gone. All right, so let's see here. Um, let's look at playground stuff for the children. That is always something interesting. So we have this one, but I kind of want to get one that more fits the scenery. Um, and I want to get a fountain for the front of the zoo. I think that would look really nice. So an ice fountain. No, no, no. Let's not do that. Let's do hmm, not a marine fountain. I don't want to do an ice fountain because it's not really a tundra zoo. Let's do the Chinese fountain. That looks actually really pretty. Um, okay, so let's put it probably right in the middle here. Um, can people get around that though? Hmm. I don't think so. So let's maybe put it. I don't want to ruin that area. Okay, so maybe a fountain at the front of the zoo is not going to work because I don't think people can actually walk around it. Um, and I don't have the path right now. So let's try something else. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. What did I just do? I'm so bad with this thing. A dragon arch. That's interesting. We have this arch. Sometimes the paths are just made way too wide for the arches, which I've never really understood. Um, <laughs> oh, I really don't have anything. Okay, so that's probably going to have to wait. Oh, a statue. I have a statue, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, a lion statue. That would be perfect. It fits with the zoo. Um, okay, I don't have anything else. I have this. Hmm. Oh, okay, I know what I could do. I could put like this right here. And then the lion one roaring at them right here. Perfect. I love it. It'd be perfect if I could find a good arch to put there. All right, awesome. So then we have the playground stuff going on. So we'll unpause that because you have to do that to get the playground or the research. So that is really cool. And what else? Um, oh, we need to get maintenance staff. Totally forgot about the maintenance staff. Okay, let's put, we'll put one. Um, I guess two, because there are two trash cans. Um, we're a paleontologist. Yeah, okay, I think that's good. Yeah, I don't want to get any zookeepers just yet. Not until we're about to leave. That way we have zookeepers to take care of the animals when we're gone. <gasps> yes! You've passed the initial test by keeping your animals alive for one month. Awesome! Excellent work! It's clear that you understand that animals require different habitats in order to thr thrive in a zoo environment. Do you wish to continue playing this scenario? Yes, for right this minute, because like I said, I'm going to put some zookeepers in here. One for each exhibit to make sure that our babies are well taken care of. And then we have the research for the kangaroo bouncy ride complete. So I am going to put that down. Um, let's put it... Let's put it right here. That way it's kind of out of the way of everything else. We'll put two down. And then we will assign the zookeepers to their exhibits where did they go here they are oh actually i can do it like this there we go I'm going to sit on the bench so let's give you a task your assignment is going to be the polar bears your assignment is going to be the lions and your exhibit is going to be the hippo Yay, there we go. So now, assistant, we can move on to the next zoo that we are going to make better with our um, conservation efforts and our efforts of making zoo guests happy as well and making sure that every animal we encounter has a good and safe habitat to thrive. So I think that is going to be all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this part, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!